John Sudal, mm -hmm. thank you so much for coming. Tell us, what is it that you do? What I do is I teach actors how to become better on-camera storytellers. Mm -hmm. What I really have discovered is that when it comes to the creating and revealing of emotion, that the playing field is not leveled. There are some people actually who were born and raised to do this better. But you can learn, you can level the playing field if you begin to understand the language that your face speaks. The first step of leveling the playing field is um, what I call getting into emotional alignment. Mm -hmm. In emotional alignment, when we're out of alignment, it means that what we're feeling is significantly different than what our face is revealing. Right. And I, I consider that to be out of alignment. So there's three steps to get into emotional alignment and, and learn to speak the language of the face. The first one is we have to define how you personally reveal emotion. And I take people through an emotional, I call it an emotional screen test. I have them create emotions. You do it, I don't care how you're gonna do it. Just the whole thing is I feel. Now, as you feel, you're gonna let me know and I take a, a, a few minutes of tape on that. I identify, I isolate. You said you were ready, you said you were feeling. Now the rest should be on your face. Uh, because I have you do it in a very specific way. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. I can't wait. So we go through that. I also take your static face here. So I need to know how you reveal emotion to find out, is it your tools? Do I find out, is it what you were using to get emotional? Or do you have one of these distortions? Because if you have a distortion, it may not be all the emotions. Maybe you have a, um, something that's getting in the way of you creating joy. Something's getting in the way of you creating anger. But even if you have a problem getting to anger, I can get you back into alignment if you're willing to work on it. It's not psychological. I'm not going to get into your brain. I'm just going to connect you to the right thought and the right muscle groups. Cool. And it'll bring you right back. For a while, you may you know, find tears, but ultimately, you will do it because it changes. Your thought changes the muscle groups. So if you can keep the right thought, the right muscle groups, you'll stay in the right emotion. It'll want to suck you in. But. So the first step how you personally reveal emotion. Then the second step is now you need to understand emotions. So I give you a very in-depth look at um, uh, what they are, what triggers them, the universal triggers, and the, uh, the family within each emotion, and also the variations of theme for each one. Uh, because for some people, different things make them angry. Not everybody gets angry by the same thing or to that same intensity. So, but they're just variations of a theme. Um, I teach about the sensations, what they feel like, and how to recreate those sensations, and then the impulses. You know you're there because you want to take an action, and, and I, and I uh, reveal to you what those actions are. The second, the third step, I'm sorry, is now I'm going to teach you the muscle groups, and this will connect you to the emotion with the trigger, and as we work, trust will come in where you when you create it and somebody else gets it, to the degree that you intend. Not just with me, but me, somebody else, somebody over there. And at that, when you know that, again, I do that, I know you got it. I know the camera got it. I don't have to even think about it. I felt the tension growing in my eye right there, and I can, it can grow more. If I want to, if, it was, if, if there was a, a reason for that to happen, but that's trust. Trust is when you, get, you know you do something, you're going to get the desired response. So if we, once we have all three of them, then we be begin to build this alignment, and now you got to practice it. It goes on from there because I begin the second part of nailing the reaction is when I teach you the individual muscle groups and the meaning because they all have different meaning, which is really, really cool. So most of my actors who are booking know how to translate the information because they know about emotions, and once they bring it down to an emotional place, they know what the reaction is. Now they have to deal with the correct timing, intensity, and duration, and there's so much more about all nonverbal communication. I'll be talking all night. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is so exciting. I just feel like you have all these secret weapons yet mm -hmm. to be revealed.